for three and a half weeks but it literally feels like oh, an entire season and I am just back with such a renewed sense of life and inspiration and just so much focus and drive for this channel especially and also I've been waiting to do this video for a year it's seriously one of the very first videos that I ever wanted to do and I'm just seeing more and more and more videos like it and that is a little sign and cue to me that I need to make one today what I'm going to be doing is a massive upheaval of my closet over the past six or eight months I've been clearing out bags and bags and bags and bags of clothes taking them to donation giving them to clothing swaps and having so much fun getting rid of them but I still have an entire closet full of clothes and while I was away in Thailand, it just became really, really apparent just how little I need to function. So today I'm really excited to use some of Elise from Raw Alignments, and if you don't already follow Elise, she has a personal vlog channel and also a Raw Alignment business YouTube channel where she talks a lot about just healthy living and really clean, minimal lifestyle. I'm going to be utilizing her technique and getting rid of my clothes in a very uh, precise order that is hopefully going to alleviate a lot of the struggle and make it really easy for what I decide to keep and I decide to get rid of. How many of you have clothes that have been sitting in your closet that you save for a super special occasion that never comes or that you've been hanging on to for 15 years since high school or something like that. I really would love if some of you are inspired to do this yourself. All of us have seen these videos before, so I'm very excited and let's get to it. Wow. So just as a frame of reference, this is only what I had hanging in my closet. This is not my pants, my jeans, just my shoes and the stuff that was hanging in my closet. So I'm going to do this in a really quick way. I wanna let all of you know that I also have a Poshmark and the majority of this that's in really good condition is going to be going on Poshmark. So I will let you know relatively the sizes. I'm five foot nine. I usually wear between like an extra small and a small. I have mediums too. The shoe is a 7.5 or eight. The piles that I'm going to separate everything into is the stuff I really wanna keep that I wear really often and then my sometimes wear like not very often but I don't really know if I want to get rid of it and then the stuff that I haven't worn in like six months or more or I haven't worn this season or last season the stuff that I'm like for sure able to get rid of just as a side note for those of you that don't know I also make the majority of my money as a model and I have to have like a separate wardrobe for that for jobs and runway things commercials and things like that so I always have to have kind of a set group of clothes and I'll let you know which those are that I'm keeping because they're not my style at all but I have to keep them for work oh my gosh I'm like overwhelmed super overwhelmed let's do it Thank you. 
or twice. I'm going to give myself a month to wear this and if I don't I'm going to get rid of it then but it's just so beautiful and fits me so well. We have one more stack left. This is from my cocktailing days. It's a really beautiful navy blue jumper. It's a pantsuit and it kind of it, it's like skinny on the ankle and then kind of wider through here and it's got a belt. Really, really beautiful. Like a $200 piece, but I never wear it. This actually, okay, funny story, hilarious story. This is actually not lingerie. This is a uniform. <laughs> Whenever I was training for Omnia, the nightclub, when I was a cocktail server there, we did a lot of our training at Tao, which is another nightclub that's been open for years. This is their work uniform at Tao. <laughs> Welcome to Las Vegas. I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the end result. These are 64 items, which I think is really good for jackets and all the seasons, everything, everything. This is it super excited and then I just counted all these hangers and there's actually 84. I got rid of about 60% of the stuff. Let's go through the shoes now. Okay, I'm ashamed of this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I have 36 pairs of shoes. <laughs> This is the kind of thing that you kind of don't realize until you do something like this. It comes to clarity how much you have that you don't need. I don't wear but maybe like two or three pairs of my shoes. Um, that being said, some of them are for work so I have to keep some of them, um, the heels mainly. But I'm just going to go through this really, really quickly and show you the ones that I'm going to get rid of. <laughs> stripper before she got on YouTube? No, these were some of the, um, do you remember that lingerie piece that I showed you earlier? These were the shoes for that piece. These are work shoes for Tao in Las Vegas and I got them for $200. I wore them one time and they're like in brand new condition and if anyone wants them for a Halloween outfit or something they're gonna be on my Poshmark. <laughs> 
These boots are from Anthropology, and I know they're leather, but I'm not going to get rid of them. Dang, I'm so excited that I'm doing this today. Now for the pants edition. <laughs> half of my pants too. Go me. So that's everything. I just went through my entire closet and I'm super stoked on it. That is going to conclude this episode and I really just want to say that I'm going to ask you to reconsider a lot of the things that you have in your closet. If things aren't making you super happy, maybe making some room for new big beautiful stuff in your life that you're going to come across and just love so so much and for these kinds of things I know that someone else is going to find them and love them so much more than I do so that's kind of what it's all about I feel like just making room for the new getting rid of what no longer serves you and decluttering space I heard this quote a really long time ago that's always resonated with me so much. Our exterior surroundings so greatly reflect our inner mind. So the way our surroundings look outside of us is a really, really great reflection of what our mind looks on the inside. So if you find yourself in really cluttered areas, chances are you're pretty cluttered in the mind. And also just seeing things I know for myself, whenever I am doing work in my house, there's always some nagging feeling whenever I'm in cluttery spaces that's like, I really should be cleaning instead. I really should be, should be doing this, should have done this, have time to do this. And it really gives us like a scarcity complex with time too. It just takes up space, plain and simple. And I've been really wanting to clear out my house and just get a really different vibe going in my house so that I can do a lot more work and get a lot more focused and get a lot more done this year. Get a lot more consistent with things like this that I love so much. And I just want to thank you for joining me on this. And I'm so excited. The things that don't sell on Poshmark, I'm going to give a time limit and then I'm going to um, send them to a Salvation Army or Big Brothers Big Sisters, some donation-based place so that other people can enjoy these clothings. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I hope you have a really beautiful day. If you have any episode ideas, comments, questions, anything like that, or if you want to put a reservation on a piece of clothing that you've seen here today, definitely leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Does that make sense? And I will be seeing you later. Bye, friends.